This is Teresa, AKA 50 plus 2013. The video is something that I can't even believe I did. But since I captured it on camera, I decided to share with you all. So this video is just gonna be demonstrating me stupidly cutting my hair. Okay, so you'll see in the video where I'm cutting my hair. I never even combed my hair out. So over a year and six months, I've been struggling with my hair. My thyroid went out of whack. My hair turned to wire or did something crazy. I can't even explain it. So I had, um, my hair was probably about down to here and I cut off about two inches last year or the end of last year thinking that was going to help but my hair was so fragile and breaking and no matter if you just brush your hands through it there's breakage you have hair all in your hands hair was all over the house i was just tired of cleaning up hair oh so i was speaking to my doctor since i've been on thyroid medicine for i think almost two months and she said well it's too late for that hair that is already damaged or dead or whatever Whereas some people on one hand were saying that that's not true. I can eat better, take vitamins, supplements, and all that, and fix it. Well, I've been taking vitamins and supplements for my hair and nails, and nothing fixed it thus far. So basically, I bought some hair dye, and then I um, was going to dye my hair. But then I thought, you know, I'm not going to dye old, dead hair. So let me cut the hair off and then dye what's left. So I did all that in a video. My main mistake is I did not comb my hair out. So once I'm done cutting it, it's just jaggered and look like a crazy mess. I wanted to go to the beauty school and have them straighten me out and flat iron my hair and all that. But it's a holiday weekend and I called too late. They were already closing and I wasn't going to be there in time. And they're closed Sunday and Monday, so I can't go either of those days. So basically... I grabbed ponytails, I grabbed my hair and made about six to five ponytails. And I put a white rubber band in the part where I was gonna cut beneath it. And then I put another rubber band down, a little ways down, so that once I cut it, the hair wouldn't just fall on the floor, it would just catch it in the little ponytail. Okay, so like I said, I did not comb my hair out. I just kinda, I didn't comb it out good. I combed it out a little bit, but I didn't comb it out good because I thought I was just gonna dye my hair, not cut it. So I cut it and it's a mess and the video, I'm just going to have some music playing. I'll talk here and there, but for the most part, that's what you're going to be watching. You're going to be watching me cut my hair, dye my hair. And when I'm dyeing my hair, it's going to look like I'm naked, but I have on a, a, a tube type, tube top. Normally when I dye my hair, I'll either put on a black, um, a black, shirt or something so if dye get on it you can't tell or i'll just put something around me like a tube top and dye it so when dye get on my chest and my neck and my um, shoulders and stuff it won't ruin my clothing after all this jibber jabber you're gonna see and i don't even know what to think just let me know what you think in the comments i'm just like i i just don't know what to think but i do want to share this video with you and let's get started
And Olea is one of the hair dyes, yes, I said dye, not hair color, that I've used in the past that I don't remember it irritating me or giving me an allergic reaction. But this is what I'm planning on using. I chopped off all my hair. And if you were to use the Olea, it's so simple to use. It comes with the developer, and it comes with the developer, the colorant, pair of gloves, black gloves, and a conditioner. All you do is open this top, squeeze this in, and then apply to your hair. After you've applied it in sections and saturated your hair, you leave it on for 30 minutes and then you rinse it out and apply the conditioner and then you're good to go. You only use the conditioner um, for so, uh, use a little bit and then you are, um, save some in it for your next wash. So I'm gonna do that right now. I hope I chopped off enough of my hair where all of that hair that was affected by my thyroid is cut off. anywhere because my hair wasn't fully combed out before I cut it and I think I can cut me some bangs right here because my head forehead um, it's um, puffing up a little and I think that's what it did the last time just swole up a little but it didn't itch or anything like that but in the meantime I already have been a joke cream and a pill that I took in case until a few couple of days or um, a couple of days I'll wash my hair again and it will um, it will get more of the dye off of my scalp now I did try to stay in the shower and wash longer than usual and just make sure the color completely rinsed out of my hair and I think you can't completely rinse it out but it had you know it's barely barely anything showing in the rinse any color in the rinse anyway so I'm yeah so this is this is it and I guess you know I can look at some styles or something but I'm praying that the dead hair is cut off for the most part and I can just go ahead and focus on just trimming my hair and getting it back all the way. Through.